Good morning, everyone. So it looks like the theme of quantum computing isn't slowing down anytime fast, at least as far as it's concerned in the stock market. We've had an explosion of quantum related tickers this morning, and I wanted to just cover some of that price action. We've seen our favorite D wave retest all time highs. Now there's five rejections. Maybe while I'm recording this video, we could see it break its all time high yet again. So hoping for that. I'm going to show you guys the quantum watch list, the stock heat map, so we can see the wider breadth of the market. And then we're going to go into a bunch of quantum tickers and do some quick price analysis. A lot of good looking charts so far today that can always change with anything in the market um, when we're in, in a trading day, but very exciting morning for quantum. So let's take a look at the heat map. The heat map is telling the story of a mixed sort of picture here. So. Apple is down. There's quite a bit of red through health, finance, energy, health services, but we see that Tesla, Google, Palantir, Meta, we see quite a few tech companies doing really well. So that begs the question, how are the queues doing? And the Q's are, the QQQ is our representation of basically NASDAQ, the, the tech companies in the market. And currently we are at a half a percent gain on the day. So nothing super crazy. If we look back a month where we've kind of just been chopping around since Tuesday. And if we look back even further, we can see that from the absolute peak of fear to today, we're up at the current moment, 29%. So those who bought the dip down here or here, congratulations, because you've uh, seen some nice returns. Okay. So the story of the day, of course, is the quantum watch list. And all right. So the quantum watch list, we see that Ion Q has made a massive move of 14%. It looks like investors aren't too concerned about Dr. Bratz, the CEO, taking some profit. So the, the stock is up 15% today. Actually, let's go over to QBTS because at any moment, uh, this could break its all time high. So um, I want to show you guys real quick what's happening on the chart here. So we have this morning one, two, three, four, five, four or five rejections at this 1780. So we just passed 1770 and look at that. That's good TV. That is good TV. We just made an all time high yet again. And let's look at the three month chart. So why is that important? Because now we are once again in price discovery. So how high does QBTS want to go and uh, pretty incredible when we saw the CEO sell almost 800,000 shares. The shareholders don't care. They want the stock in their portfolio. There's clearly a ton of buying pressure um, and macro tailwinds in specifically the quantum sector. There's a lot happening and people are wanting to make their positions now for what's to come. So congratulations to QBTS investors, D-Wave investors another all time high. What a crazy moment for uh, D wave investors. Let's look at the all time chart. We are now in new territory. Once again, we are officially above the May 21st top and we're now seeing where we're going to go from here. So very exciting. Okay. So back to the quantum watch list. I just wanted to make sure I got the all time high on video. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I could probably end the video right here and, and we're all good. But check it out. Regetti is up 15%. QUBT is up 10%. Ion Q is up 16%. LAES, which we've been talking about, is up 8%. And Google today is having a 4% day. And remember, Google has Google Willow and they announced Google Willow before a lot of these other big tech players. And they didn't talk about it much during the IO conference, but Google does things really well. They're, they have a high quality with their brand. So I'm really personally excited to see what Google does with quantum computing. All right, let's take a look at D-Wave. We can see that pump is still going and we are through the all time high. 
what can we expect from here or what do I want to see? I want to see that these two levels, 1762, I'm going to draw another line here because we've had a very, uh, very tight price range established right here. So if the market is to hold, I'd love to see DOA start bouncing off of its all-time high. That would be a bullish case. We could always, if, if the market changes, we could see some sell-off and it could come down to 1612. It could come down to where it opened this morning. But as of right now, it's looking really good. Uh, crossing my fingers. Um, and Rigetti. So Rigetti, let's take a look at Rigetti. And this chart has been uh, phenomenal today. Just beautiful structure. And we're sitting at a 15% gain on the day, single trading day. In fact, just the first hour of trading um, and very steady structure um, on there. And what, what does that look like in the six month picture? Well, I've called on this channel a few times before that really this 1150 is an important number for it to be over. And now it's wanting to be in this range. And it spent a lot of time. We have a lot of price history between 1150 and 1460. So Rigetti does appear to be building, returning to um, its base of support that it held after the quantum frenzy in the ensuing quantum crash. So we're maybe back in these levels. If it goes down below 1150, watch it further to the downside. If it goes above 13, then watch 1460 as a level of rejection. So let's take a look at LAES. So this is our quantum cybersecurity play. We did get ARCID earnings today. They were uh, a little bit mixed. I wouldn't say there wasn't a ton of excitement there. They do have a DOD contract and it's still very early in the game. We had mentioned on the channel that LAES may have some sympathy gains. ARCID today is one of the only quantum tickers that is down because their earnings weren't the best. But LAES doesn't seem to care too much. They are up at this point in time, 8.7%. And I'm gonna sound like a broken record if you're following the channel closely. Uh, the 388 is going to be the important level for LAES to break through. It is sitting in the range of 345 to 388, and that's a nice spot for it to be. However, historically, it has struggled to get through 388, so that's going to be a key level as we look at this potential rally and potential reversal. And once again, I'm not convinced we're in a bullish reversal until we break through 388 and hold above it. So let's take a look at ion q ion q has had a beautiful move today just constant buying and remember our our uh, stock heat map wasn't telling the story of an ultra bullish market this is really a a sector that is getting a lot of love and attention from investors so from close yesterday to the current candle an 18 percent gain and we know that if we look back at ion q historically IonQ had a nice recovery after the quantum crash and liked to be in this 36 to 44 price range. And since late or mid-February, it has been priced below this 36 number. So this was actually a really critical uh, price break and it's and it's breaking the 36 with velocity. With, with That is a beautiful green candle there. So it looks like Ion Q is wanting itself to be priced in this 36 to 44 range. Um, we'll see if it can hold. We're still early in the day, but that's a very key level. As you can see in the past, it has used 36 as rejection multiple times. It's also used it as support on the way up during the quantum frenzy. So this looks incredibly bullish uh, to me on Ion Q. All right, any other bonus stock alert? We're gonna take a look at Airship because Airship 
is also up almost 9% on the day. And I want to show you since their earnings, what this uh, stock has been doing. I made a video, just a couple of videos back, three stocks, $5 and under um, that are tech growth stocks. And this was one of them. And I just want to show you from earnings what the stock has done. It's gone up 46% at its peak and it still does appear to be in this bullish rally. It's up 35% today. So if we just look at this earnings rally, so far we're holding this rising support. Now, uh, there's not a lot of price data there, so let's go back three months. In its price history, it has rejected off of 525 a number of times. So for it to be trading over 525, is a bullish sign for airship we can see that once it gets over 525 then there is pretty good upside anywhere between uh seven to eight dollars and if we look at the all-time chart at one point closer to when the company was newer to the market it was trading at 14. so even if we thought okay the growth story is intact here it's going to get back to seven or eight bucks. That's a 42% gain. Or if it gets back to its all time highs, that's 160% gain. So, um, and in a bearish case, if it were to move down, if things were to change in the market, then I think there's a pretty solid base of support here at 322. So airship, well, a fun one. All right, guys, we've had a fun morning so far. Hopefully it holds. If you like content like this, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. If you're um, investing in quantum stocks and you're seeing some green in your portfolio, congratulations. As always, not investment advice. This is just me providing information and hopefully a little bit of entertainment. If you are trading these stocks, especially quantum stocks, just understand that it's a risky and speculative trade. So set stop losses and look out for yourself. All right. Well, have a good day and good luck in the market.